Amid the remains of civilization, there are survivors. In North America, the pungent smell of old food left in kitchens attracts all sorts of hungry animals. Fourteen days after people, some of the 400,000 wolves living in the wilds invade homes for an easy meal. While the wolves are moving in, dogs are trying to move out. But these animals remain bound to humans. We started manipulating the genetic makeup and the characteristics of other animals long before we had agriculture. Neoteny, the tendency of retaining childlike characteristics, is something that we kept emphasizing in dogs. That's why dogs accept our authority without challenging it. Dogs aren't even good at little tasks like getting out of the house. They couldn't break a window, they couldn't, they've been taught not to tear up things and so forth. And most of them would just sit there and starve to death. But one kind of canine would be ideally suited to this new world, the stray dog. Belonging to no one, they live on the outskirts of towns and are lean survival machines. They weigh about 20 pounds, and they're designed to operate really cheaply. They can eat the worst, awfulest food in the world. They've been doing it for thousands of years and so on. They can get by with just a little. For the first few months after people, large populations of stray dogs live, eat, and battle for the mountains of food at landfills and dumps. After that, survival becomes a riskier proposition. A kind of freedom has become the very essence of stray dogs. Once dependent on human leftovers on the streets, they've evolved back into the wild predators they were before domestication. There are places in the world where they've already evolved back into a wild animal. So the village dog in Australia has become something called a dingo. Dingoes were brought to Australia around 2000 BC as domesticated dogs. Released into the outback, they soon numbered hundreds of thousands. And they're doing perfectly well in the wild. But without humans who provided most of their food, stray dogs have seen their population decimated. Where once there were more than 300 million, there are now just a few million. Yet as a species, they will survive because of a unique running ability that distinguishes them from every other creature in the animal kingdom. The cheetah is supposed to be the fastest animal in the world, but they only go three, 400 yards, and then they become exhausted quickly, where a good dog can do miles and miles and miles. And there's no other animal out there in the world that can do that. I think they might make it really successfully. <laughs> 